Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin Iron. This is episode three of this game, and basically, um, so far, um, it's just been a lot of freaking talking and kind of like settling in, um, and all these people are dead apparently. So, um, I'm going to resume from where we left off, and uh, she's talking about this man who is apparently the epitome of negativity, um, and uh, I need to go find him in the boiler room. How do you get down there? Let's look us up. Uh, okay, the mask weighs me so far. Yes, okay. Alright, what does my mask look like? You don't have a mask, you're different. Interesting. Okay, so I don't have a mask. My face is blurred. Now... Um... Okay, so she's... I can see. I see! Can you remember anything else about him? When I think about him now, I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Yeah, your, your face isn't so hot, honestly, by itself. Maybe the fairy man has answers? No. He cannot help me find the boy, man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Okay, so obviously my name is Marcus, because uh, she called me that, and so did the, the uh, pasta face dude in the damn... Um, Bar. Jesus Christ. Lost for words here. What is that? Is that a floating? Oh, it's a book. It's a book! Alright, let's talk to this guy. Sup, diggity dog? Huh? Arr. Spoke to her, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of my way. Don't you have anything you ought to be doing? I'm busy here. You have business downstairs. Go on and get. How the hell could he know that I have business downstairs? You he was dropping on me, bro. Try to talk to the lady. It's a shitty table. All right, out of my way, shadow people. Mm, blank. I have to talk to a man in a boiler room. She's still there. No, she's gone. Of course, she beamed away. This is the only room that's. I was gonna say is in order, but it's not. I'm sure I have to come back here for some weird reason. Going down. I never had a chance to really travel. So, the boiler room. Ooh, red. <laughs> looks so evil with the red run. Okay, anyway. This is the boiler room. All these boilers on this little tiny-ass fucking boat? Jesus. Ooh. Bird painting. It's charred and covered in shit. Well, it is a boiler room. Okay, who is this guy? Ooh. Creepy looking dude. There's one guy that runs all of these boilers. Let's talk to him. What do you guys say, purple man? At the end of his time, the man from the from the boy finally emerges. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wrath? Will he let the sand trickle out? I walk up to this guy and he starts telling me a poem. Or has he encouraged to turn back the hands of fate? Uh, I'll take your ticket now. And like a pawn, you move where he commands without a thought. He's calling me a pawn, and a dude's working in a damn boy room shoving coal all day. I'm sure he loves it. Without a thought to the reason of the overhaul plan. Do you wonder at all what the reason might be that you saw uh, saw you woke wake up in the dock out at sea? So this guy's questioning, like, what, the whole game, or what? I have been asking... I've asked everyone in this godforsaken boat, and no one gives me a damn answer. Perhaps a small mercy they granted unto you. But no such compassion will I bestow upon the craven, such as you. A craven? I'm not a craven, am I? Am I? The answer you sought, I give to you now. The shattered soul taken to the edge. Sickened wrists brought about an end. Slickened wrists? But is this the end of a story or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. This guy is very poetic, the way he talks, for a boiler room worker. Shattered soul, sick and slickened wrists, what are you implying? With all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. He's calling me stupid! What a dick. It was your hand that slew you, 
but not that alone. So apparently I killed myself, but somebody egged me on. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. So I had something to do with them dying too? I didn't murder them, I never murdered anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end just the same. Okay, so I... This is this is a deep game, I guess. It's more of like I somehow maybe I was like a maybe a businessman or something, and I I don't know something didn't grant them loans for organs they needed. I don't know. We'll see. An action can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. This guy's very poetic for a boiler room worker. You ever think about taking a poetry, bro? The sister dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup. I say that's the girl and the and the, and the drunk guy. With only his son to blame, and finally the woman waiting for the man who never came. Okay, uh, all the people on the ship. Lily said she died stuck in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with it. My father, the drunk man. I am the one the woman's waiting for? Oh, that's that. I didn't call that one. Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave. Ooh, this is gruesome. A wash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again, ignorant of the results your actions would spawn. This is getting deep. Getting real deep. Alice called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Thought it stares you in the face, still you do not see. I don't. Watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I have everything you hate, all you regret. This is real deep now. It's getting hard to breathe. Woman into one person. Your greatest layments. You're me, and Alice was my wife. I remember now. You still have questions that I have answers. The sister dead at the neglected 86. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. Lily said she died in the toy chest. I had nothing to do with it. The drunk was my dad? Of course. Who else could he be? I had a hunch that he was related. It was somehow he was related to me because he said. Your father never teach you to drink. Dang. Your father too. What a shitty thing for your father to do. In my age. But was he a loving father or a controllable debauchee? I thought it's a douchebag for a second. I'm like, oh, weird. I remember him now, but I know my dad loved me. In the bar, he said he drank himself to death. And while the truth might be, there's a certain irony still. The great beyond, the child follows the father. And once again, offer. So who is this child? Not the girl, it's his son apparently. Only his son to blame. Oh, it's me. To once again offer the cup that killed him, it's me. I don't know. I didn't know I would have given it to him otherwise. Well, maybe he should have known better. One more quarrel I have with you before resolution is reached. The sister, dead at neglected age six. At least that she died in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with it. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. This guy is creepy, man. You were in charge of her. Something you resent. Had Big Brother watched her. Oh. Oh. I was babysitting her. And I fucked up. I fucked up! Yo, oh, Lily, I fucked up. As he promised he would. Well, this is really making me sad now. She would not have death in a coffin taken too soon. The box. This guy is very poetic. Wow, this is shitty, man. I thought this was going to be kind of like a bio... I clicked through it! Damn! All the sadder, the lie that the teller believes. But in the end, you may fool yourself, but cannot deceive me. So let the weight of the truth crush you underneath. Thanks for the motivation, dog. You alone are responsible, guilty, and culpable. Culpable. Man, this is... Oh, jeez. You're right. I abandoned her. That's not what happened at all. The only liar here is you. I'm gonna say that he's a liar. By the way, I know I don't know what's going on here, but you should be able to see the whole screen. I don't know why you can't see these options. The bottom one says, that's not what happened at all. I'm gonna say that, because I'm denying this bullshit. I didn't do that. She killed herself. She climbed in that box and locked it, and I was at my buddy's house playing N64. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though you do not believe that you have won. Ooh, this guy's making rhymes. One thing remains for you 
build before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. Was this a poem the whole time? I was just was reading it shittily. I don't know. There he goes. You got a ticket, bitch! There it is. Fathom. Pick up the boiler man's ticket. Right. I wonder why I can look at all the paintings and, uh, and see what they have to say. I can go down again? Yeah, I'm gonna be adventurous and just go down. Alright. Never mind. Back up we go. Never had a choice to travel. Like, why is this an option to look at these? Did these... Is there thing to do with it? I feel like things are going to get a little bit more gruesome soon. A little bit more... Oh, the shadows are gone. The toy box is shut. That's right. Because that's how she died. We were playing. Ooh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse! And... He's not there. Oh man, this is kind of making me upset now. Paddle's still going. Oh man. I killed my whole family indirectly and then myself. Is that what happened? It's you. I can see you now. Do you know who I am? Yes, Marcus. It's always been you. You found me. I'm Kevin Iron. I'm not Marcus. How did you come back? Everything went dark and then I heard a voice. It was you. You brought me back. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads.